as the weather is warming up and the sun is shining longer each day, you might be thinking about heading outdoors or going out for a nice day at the park. But which park? I'd like to tell you a little bit about a few of the very best parks in the Casper area. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. As a real estate agent, I pride myself on knowing everything I can about our great area. And that includes many neighborhood parks. First on the list is Susie McMurray Park, located at 5135 East 21st Street. This 2.8 acre park on Casper's east side is in the center of East Gate 3. There are two separate play areas, one designed for toddlers and one designed for older children. There is a level grassy playing area, a covered picnic area, and even a wonderful quarter mile footpath. It is a great place for a picnic or a quick stop after school. Determined to have a park in the neighborhood, local residents raised over 80,000 to fund the park's construction and the McMurray family donated the remaining costs. The park was named after Susie McMurray to thank the family for their generosity in helping the community reach their goals. It's a beautiful place to visit. If you drive just a little ways down the road, you'll run into the next park on our list, Fun Valley Park, located at 3631 East 21st Street, in the center of a neighborhood, with walking distance to several schools. If you have lived in Casper for even a short amount of time, you probably already know this, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Fun Valley Park is for sledding. <laughs> the entire park is shaped like a bowl. It is basically surrounded by hills, which means this is where you will find lots of folks from the neighborhood and all over Casper during the winter. For year-round fun, there is playground equipment to play on, including swings, a climbing area with monkey bars, five different slides, a covered picnic area, and tons of grassy areas to hang out. And hey, sometimes we get snow all the way through springtime. So knowing this awesome sledding location can pay off for most of the year here in Wyoming. Crossroad Park, or as many of the locals call it, Castle Park, is located at 1101 North Poplar Street. This is a super fun place to visit. The locals gave it the nickname because of the playground. It's shaped like, you guessed it, a castle. The playground is perfect for kids of all ages. The playground area is completely fenced in, making it easier to keep track of everyone you brought to the park while they explore and play. And I know I definitely appreciate that. My boys loved to play at that park when they were younger. But wait, there's more. Rotary Club of Casper built this 10,000 square foot park in May of 2004 in just five days with over 2,300 volunteers. Amazing. The Casper community is full of people who are generous, not only financially, but also with their time and energy. Crossroad Park also has a great covered picnic area, level grassy areas, and is located just off the pathway that meanders through Casper along the North Platte River and is also the finish line location for the annual Great Duck Derby. You could totally plan an adventure that includes walking the path to the park and then exploring the castle. Mike Lensing Field is right next door. Good to know if you're a baseball fan. You may not know that, new to the area, just constructed in 2021 is a fabulous boulder park. It too was donated by the Rotary Club and has a ton of boulders for climbing. How cool. Maybe you're a dog lover looking for the perfect place to take your best friend. That place is Morad Park on the west side of town at 2800 Wyoming Boulevard Southwest. This is a favorite amongst local pet owners. Morad is an off-leash park where you and your well-behaved four-legged bestie are able to run free. Here you'll find another section of the pathway along the river that leads throughout town, but it also includes its own looped path in case you want to remain leash free for your entire walk. Morad Park is filled with tall trees and lots of open spaces. The colors in fall are just magnificent. If you've seen my other videos, you probably already know that I have more than a few dogs at home. So this is a park I can really appreciate. Nancy English Park is one of Casper's most beautiful hidden treasures. Located at 1250 West 23rd Street, this park is the perfect place for a quiet walk. I am always intrigued by the sounds of the quiet creek that runs through the park on the pathway, surrounded by many towering trees. 
and the fact that it's tucked deep inside of its west side neighborhood. It is so peaceful and so beautiful. Of course, you can't forget the playground, the picnic tables, and lots of open space to burn off some energy as well. Nancy English Park is a popular location for senior and family portraits and a very popular spot for walking. But my very favorite thing about Nancy English Park is who it's named for. Tex English was a Casper resident back in the 1950s who thought that cutting back the brush and putting a park in the Garden Creek area would help to prevent fires. At the time, this area was mostly undeveloped and covered with a thick brush. The whole neighborhood agreed with Tex's idea, and of course, they pitched in to help. When the park was complete, the people that had helped in its construction were tasked with naming it. They chose to honor Texas 12-year-old daughter, Nancy, who tragically had died of complications from measles before the completion of the park. I just love the story of community and the way people come together in good times and in hard times as well. Nancy English is a beautiful dedication to one of Casper's past young residents. Have you heard of Mike Cedar Park? It's an extra special park in Casper because it has lots of options. Located at 781 College Drive, there is a BMX track, enormous grassy fields, a pool, that's a water park in itself, and a fabulous outdoor play area, like where I am now. <laughs> there are places to picnic, run, and play. In the springtime, there are the most gorgeous cherry blossoms on the trees. When they are in bloom, it is one of my very favorite places to visit. So beautiful. Just guess what Mike Cedar Pool has. A 33 and a half foot slide, a splash pad, a lazy river, and even a climbing wall. It's unlike any other pool in the Casper area. But I'm not finished talking about this great park. The BMX track holds races for all ages through Mike Cedar BMX, which you can find more about on their Facebook page. It is an organization that has been run completely by volunteers since 1983. Are you sensing a theme about Casper? The people are amazing. So many volunteers running organizations and building parks, raising funds, and just maintaining awesomeness. Have I told you lately, yes, I love living here. I know there are many other parks that could be added to this list. Casper is really full of them, and I love that. Be sure to comment below and tell us what your favorite parks are. Of course, Casper Area Real Estate is what I know best, but I also know a lot of other great places in our beautiful city, and I want to share them with you. So for more information on the Casper Area, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We would love to help you find the home of your dreams. We have time for you, and we love talking with all of you. I love it in Casper, and I want you to love where you live too. See you soon.